Can you even tell the difference between these two? Hey guys, it's Ken. Today I'm going to show you guys some of the drugstore dupes that are available here in Australia for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I have thoughts. As you guys know, I love the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. When I first got my hands on this, I literally wore it every single time I would wear makeup and I just absolutely loved the look. By the way, I've got the shade names down in the description box down below if you guys want to see the shade ranges that I use. But yeah, this... OG, so good. I know some people don't like it, but for me, I love that luminous look. It just looks so pretty. So we're just going to do little swatches on my arms so you guys can really see um, sort of like the colour shades and the comparisons. But I'll talk through, obviously, my experiences with each product. Let's start off first with the first dupe that I got was the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfectus. Um, I will say the packaging is the most different um, and probably the least amount of glow compared to Miss Charlotte's. There it is over there. It's it's okay, um, and also the shade range of this, I think there's only like four, so it's not the most um, inclusive range, but if you use this underneath foundation like I do, it doesn't really matter because you can really cover it up, um, and you still get a bit of a glow, but again, compared to Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury looks kind of glowy still. This one kind of settles down a little bit matte. It still gives you a little bit of that glow, it's just not as glowy. The next tube I got is from e.l.f. This took forever to arrive in Australia. I, I'm, I'm really wanting to try out those Halo Glow ones but I don't know when they're gonna come um, anyway this one I feel like you could actually wear this as a tint or like a tinted moisturizer because look at that it has a little bit more pigment to it like a little bit more coverage um, this shade works for me I probably wouldn't wear this on its own anyway um, like I said I like using these products underneath foundation but I like the undertone for this one this one is actually yellow um, Charlotte Tilbury I feel like it's kind of neutral it I, I could wear it. I, again, wouldn't wear it on its own. This is probably my favourite drugstore dupe for it. This one had a lot of controversy when it finally launched. This is from Emco Beauty. I, I will say they are definitely pushing the boundaries with this one. Out of all these, this is probably the most similar in terms of packaging and everything. I, I don't know how it's legal, I have to say. Um, I know there are some people that explain how it's legal because the formula, the packaging is different, la la la. I don't know, but it just looks the same. The number of times I've actually reached for my Charlotte Tilbury and ended up reaching for this, I mean, it's fine. It, it, it's, it, it's a dupe anyway, so it's fine. But yeah, just goes to show how I wasn't really like clicking that it was the other product until I actually read the label. There's Emco Beauty over there. Um, I will say this one is probably a little bit more on the pink side, um, but in terms of like consistency and the look on the skin, I probably say this is the most similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, again, very controversial, really up to you if you want to buy that one. For those of you guys that are living outside of Australia and New Zealand, I don't think you can get this anywhere else. Maybe you can purchase it online and they might deliver it to you. I don't know. So that's pretty much the comparison for those of you guys that are my regular viewers. Hello again. I am... Oof, I just hit the lamp. <laughs> I am so grateful that you guys have sent me messages and have left comments like just encouraging me to come back and I'm really really happy about that I honestly didn't think anyone was gonna care um, for the longest time there I did kind of think that no one really cared about my YouTube channel I was just like uploading and then I would get views because it was an interesting topic not necessarily about me um, so I kind of kind of lost the drive for that I guess but it's really nice to see that you guys are here and you guys are you know wanting me to come back encouraging me it's really um very heartwarming i have to say um thank you so much as i said in my previous video i will try and upload more regularly i think in my head i can probably commit to one makeup video a week um and then maybe a vlog tossed in there as well here and there just depending on how busy i am but um again my main focus at the moment is obviously instagram and tiktok um but i don't know maybe i'll come back properly i don't know just let, let, you know Keep on watching, watch the space, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.